That was the most useless scan of all time. Did you see that, you guys? I scanned and it marked the drop pod that is 200 feet away. Oh my god. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and we are doing the Iron Man challenge, and it's probably going to end today because all we have left to do is increase our inventory, which means we have to just jump from uh, drop pod to drop pod. We're going to be looking for drop pods. We have drop pod coordinate data. We have still have three more of them, but we can just keep buying them and searching. So, guys, this might be a little bit boring, but... I might find some things to make it interesting. We'll see. But yeah, we're going to decipher one drop pod coordinate data. And again, you don't have to use a uh, signal booster. You can just fly really low to the ground. Just fly really low and slow. That way you can let the, uh, the actual terrain load in. And then just look. Slowly but surely, you'll find some. And it's pretty quick with a, uh, with a ship. So if you're just flying low like this, that's all you got to do. Just go to straight lines. I would say pick either north or south and just do this just fly really low and slow and you're covering a lot of ground but yeah it's gonna take you a minute it's gonna take you a minute you can also click in your left thumbstick to uh scan and it'll show you a unknown building it might not be a uh drop pod it might not even be the closest one it could just be a random one that they picked but yeah that's what we're doing that's a shelter right there so yeah, just do that. But we have a, a drop pod over here, so let's go hit this drop pod real quick. Knock out some of my uh, my scans and find some more cargo stuff. I'm gonna land here. It's nice and cold and or not cold. Looked cold because it was dark. Not cold. Poisonous. Toxic. Whatever you want to call it. Let's get in here. And remember, when you find a cargo or a drop pod, you need a one antimatter housing. We have a few, and we know how to make them now. We know the blueprint. We need 10 sodium nitrate. I might need to get some more sodium nitrate. And one carbon nanotube. We got to knock it out. It's all good. Okay, so let's do general. No, no, let's do our tech. So we can move some of our tech around. But yeah, these are all free. I mean, I say free. They only take materials. They don't cost any money. But, you know, whether you buy the materials or you make them or whatever, it's all on you. So just keep that in mind. But, yeah, let's continue on. We're going to oh, make some money by scanning this. Many hours later. Hey, everyone, guess what I found? I found a trade outpost that has drop pod coordinate data on it. I have not bought any of them yet. I'm so excited. I am going to buy one now, though. I'm going to buy all 12. Yep, only 1.1 million. Get all of that. Yes. Beautiful. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I am going to mark this location with a save beacon. Oh, I need metal plating. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to mark it with a save beacon because the last time I didn't do it because I was I was being an idiot. And I was like, oh, yeah, this the first one I went to had drop pod data. That means all of them are going to have drop pod data. That is not true. So if you find one that you want with drop pod data... Mark it with a save beacon. All right, so we're going to save. That way, when we go into the atmosphere, you'll see the star beacon. That is where the location is going to be, whatever you mark, you know, your save part at. So there you go. So now we have a uh, an actual trading outpost that has drop pod data, and it will rejuvenate. It'll it'll uh, restock after a little while. Now it's it's going to take some time, but we have plenty of time now. Now that we have... 14 drop pods we can go grab. Oh, man, you guys. This makes it so much easier. And actually, speaking of that, let's go grab another one. So we're just going to continue on, you guys. I'm just going to keep continuing on, grabbing all these drop pod locations as far as I can go. So let's do it. Much, much later. Oh, guys, look at this. I can... Ugh, it's an A-class, but I'm going to need to fix all that stuff. Oh, God. I just got offered a uh, new multi-tool, and it's a nice one. Look at this thing. Oh, I'm going to take it. It's a free one. It's an A-class with max slots. I just need to fix all the broken ones. Oh, okay. So what do I need to fix? What, do I, what items do I need to fix it? Oh, pyrite, dioxide, paraffinium. Ionized cobalt. Oh, God. Wiring loom. Wiring loom. 
Ionized Cobalt, Ionized Cobalt. I can get some Ionized Cobalt pretty well. Okay, I can do that. Ionized Cobalt is pretty easy to do. We can get some Wire and Loom while we're here, too. Get some regular Cobalt as well and turn it into Ionized Cobalt if we wanted to buy it. That's really expensive, though. So where's my Wiring Loom at? Oh, God. Do we have Wiring Loom here? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is there no wiring loom on a trade platform? Okay, I mean, it's not a big deal. We could just go to the space station. But, man, I could have sworn they had it here. I guess not, though. Okay. They don't have it here. Dang. Oh, we have to find a cave, get some cobalt. Man. Well, at least we got a cool, like, uh, new multi-tool. Look at that! New multi-tool! I just need a lot of, uh... I need a lot of ionized cobalt. Phosphorus, ammonia... Uranium, uranium, uranium. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need a lot of different stuff in here. Hermetic seal, four of them? Four hermetic seals for that? Good lord. Can I make a hermetic seal? Do I have the recipe yet? I don't think I've learned it. Oh, no, I didn't because I didn't have to fix my ship. I bought one that was fixed already. Oh, man, well, that's lesson learned. If you, if you buy a ship instead of fixing one, then you're screwed because you don't have the hermetic seal. You're gonna have to go to a factory and learn how to make a hermetic seal. Oh, God. All right. Well, let's continue on. Four to six days later. Guys, guess what I'm doing? I just found a uh, ma manufacturing facility, a secured facility. I was just flying around looking for drop pods answered the riddle correctly and now i can unlock my hermetic seal i can't believe i have to unlock a hermetic seal oh now remember you get oh you only get one on this one i thought you got two but i guess in permadeath you only get one recipe you can unlock at a time but if you're at a, a, a secured facility you can't unlock all this stuff here or if you get to the space anomaly you can unlock it there as well but because I don't have the space anomaly and I cannot leave the system yet, this is how I have to do it. So I'm going to go to my uh, hermetic seal and we're going to unlock that. I know how to make a hermetic seal now, you guys. Holy cow. It only took like seven hours and getting to a manufacturing facility that would let me do it. But I can now make it. And oh, update also, by the way, you guys, just for everyone, as I'm going along, it's just me searching for drop pots. But I'm also fixing some of this stuff at a time. So I went to my, uh, cold planet. I got a whole bunch of the dioxide, and then so I repaired all that. I've been slowly collecting, you know, I had the uranium before. I went to the poison planet. I got my ammonia that I needed. I just need phosphorus, and some trade posts have phosphorus. Some of them don't, so I'm just slowly picking up phosphorus as I'm going along. So the only thing I really haven't seen right now is, uh, pyrite and paraffinium. I could probably get paraffinium, because I, I just need to look for a, uh, a tropical planet. Uh, hopefully there's one in this system, but I need pyrite. I don't know where that would be. I'm pretty sure that's on a hot planet, but I'm not positive on that. So I'm still trying to fix it, but I'm slowly, look at, I'm slowly cleaning it up. This is gonna be my main multi-tool pretty soon here. I just need to get some dang upgrades for it. But yeah, oh, carrying on. I'm getting, oh yeah, my, my, uh, my inventory as well, you guys, look at. I've totally maxed out my technology inventory. So I have all the space I can get. And my technology. I'm starting to add more to my cargo. So there you are. And speaking of that, let's just throw some of the stuff in the cargo. And then I'll start on my, my uh, general. General is going to be my last one probably because my cargo I can carry a whole bunch of stuff in. So there you go. So that's why I'm doing the cargo first. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. So let's figure out where another drop pot is. I'm on my poison planet. <laughs> so yeah. You know, just keep going, keep, you know, every time I run out of money, I will stop and I'll look for, uh, buried technology, you know, get a stack of 15 or, you know, 20, and then I will go sell it, make some money, and buy some more drop pod data. I haven't been able to really find, I think I've found, like, one or two drop pods by flying really low and looking for them, but most of the, most of the drop pods I've found have been, hey, back up. Really? Most of the drop pods I've found have been through my, uh, my, uh, scan, actually, through the signal booster, so that's what I've been doing. Just literally get up and go to refill my, uh, launch fuel. Oh, I did okay. And just keep going. So that's what we're doing. Day two.
That was the most useless scan of all time. Did you see that, you guys? I scanned and it marked the drop pod that is 200 feet away. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you for that. Get that drop stone over the knowledge stone over here. God, are you kidding me? It literally marked the one that was 200 feet away because I was too lazy to look. I saw an unknown building. I didn't. <laughs> I'm choking over here. I didn't even check it. God, man. Come on. Killing me. Well, let's get in here and unlock this dang thing. I can't believe that. 200 feet away because I wasn't looking. All right. All of my uh, technology is maxed out and I'm going through my uh, my cargo at the moment. So we have that all good to go. I mean, dang, we're looking pretty good, actually. We're looking really good. Now, I've started to try to put in some more hazard protections, you know, because I have the room now, so why not? Oh, yeah. And put our cold one in there. We need dioxide, silver, and copper. Eventually, I'll get them. I'm just putting them in there for now, and they're just sitting in there. Like, I got the ammonia, so I installed that. But, you know, slowly as I get all the pieces, I will start actually completing all of it. I can't. Ah, uh, well, let's try another one. Maybe there's another drop pod that's like five feet away from me. That way I can scan for that. Oh, please, God, come on. Don't be like 200 feet away. I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> Oh, where is this one at? Please, not two feet. You are three hours. That's way more like it. Okay, three hours away. So we can get in our ship and go over there. Later, in the void. So guess what, everyone? It is finally here. Look at this. Oh, number one. Look at my multi-tool. I finally fixed it up, and I've been collecting nanites as I've been going, and I've pretty much upgraded a lot of it. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Good to go on that, but look at this inventory. Almost full. I have one spot left in my general. Technology is maxed out. And cargo is almost maxed out. We have one more in our cargo. So we need we need two more. Excuse me. Two more. Drop pod data. I almost got it right. Now, as you can see, I didn't count my uh my carbo nanotubes and my antimatter housing correct. But I was close. I was close. I was making those on the fly. So let's get in here. Two more drop pod data. And look at that. I still have nine million bucks. I literally, what I've been doing, you guys, is I've literally been going through and like, oh, this is literally, this is, I keep saying literally. Oh my God. <laughs> I have just been scanning for drop pods for the last about seven hours or so <laughs> so keep that in mind i've been doing this for about a seven hours or so maybe eight hours at this point i'm kind of losing my mind i've been playing all day just to get this done is that right there are you kidding me how close is that eight hours okay that's not bad but yeah i've literally oh good lord i have been scanning and then i've been going up and going towards the drop pods but when i land at the drop pod I'm looking for the damaged machinery because damaged machinery number one will give you a possibility of upgrades. It will at least give you nanites. It might give you an upgrade. But number two, right next to a damaged machinery is buried technology. And so I've been getting stacks of like 20 and 30 buried technology and selling them for almost a one and a half million each time. And if you do that for about seven hours, you get a ton of money. And granted i have to keep buying drop pod data which is a hundred thousand a piece and so i mean oh i spent probably a ton of money on just drop pod data like let me show you let me show you exactly so when you start out you have these four and then this five you have this corner is not filled in so you have a three four so three six nine twelve fifteen Plus that one is 16. Then you have the bottom row, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You have to get 24 inventory slots in your general inventory. That's 24 of them. Then this, you only have two. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So you have to get 12 in your technology. So that is already up to 36 now. 
And then cargo is what took forever. You only have two in here to start out with. And you get 48. So you gotta get 46 just for your cargo. It is insane. And so literally, oh God, literally a, a drinking game now for the word literally. Oh, I'm losing my mind. But I would look for some damage machinery. Like there's no damage machinery, but there is a buried technology module over here. So let's get over here. Yeah, I'm not seeing any damaged. Dang it. Oh, nope. Right over there. Boom. Perfect. See, they're usually together. Not always. Sometimes you'll find a buried technology module by itself. And that's fine. But yeah, I will just come on down here, grab this. And grab this. And sometimes if I need more money, I will go take a walk for like five or ten minutes around the planet. And I'll just collect a whole bunch of damaged machinery stuff and salvage data. Like I got nanites for that. Got 33 nanites. You average between 20 and 30 nanites for each damaged machinery. Every once in a while, you'll get a, an upgrade, which is awesome, by the way. But you get 20 to 30, and if you do that 100 times, that's 2,000. I mean, come on. So we're going to do this. Boom, boom, and boom. So we're going to finish off our... Let's do our cargo. Cargo is done. Oh, man. I can't believe this. I'm finally there. Oh, we just need one more. One more, and then we can celebrate, because I've also found... I don't know if you can see my discovery, my catalog, my my glyphs. I found one glyph, because I did find a, uh, a, uh, a, a grave site. I was just walking around, I found a grave site on, at random, it was so cool! So I got that done, so I have one glyph now. <laughs> and I did find a portal, just tr flying around, I did find a portal. What is over there? What is that over there? What is this? Let me get this blue, uh... Jetpack juice. Okay, is this a, uh... Oh, it is a minor settlement! Look at this! We got a minor settlement over here! Look at that! That jetpack... Holy cow, that was pretty good for a jetpack! Holy mackerel! So what I've also been trying to do is, if you ever, if I find a minor settlement like this, I will purposely go to the save beacon, wherever that is. Where's your save beacon? But you also, you know, there's another broken uh, machinery. Damage, I keep calling it broken. It's damaged machinery. Broken thing, whatever you want to call it. I call it broken. It's damaged. Whatever. <laughs> but, I, you know, come over here, get this. Get my nanites. Also pick up my, uh, my salvage tech. That way I can make some money. You can also get nanites for this, but let me show you. Um, you can refine salvage technology into nanites. The problem is they don't give you very much. So let me actually just drop it in there. So you only get 15 nanites per salvage data. And it's easier to find them, you know? So I could get a whole bunch out of here. Like, how much would I get? I would get 90... Uh, nanites out of here. Not worth it to me anyway, so I'm not gonna do it. But you can get it that way. If you need nanites, you can do it that way. Totally able to do that. But I hit the save beacon. Where's that save beacon? Because every time you hit the save beacon, it will give you a navigational data. And the secret, because I've been using a lot of, uh, a lot of launch fuel, the secret is, if you have a launch pad, it does not use launch fuel, so call in your ship right here, and you won't use any launch fuel. So heck yeah, that's what you want to do. Get in here, collect my nanites and my research specimen. All these are all the same. We could talk to this uh, guy if you wanted to. Usually they give you like either a multi-tool or an upgrade or something like that. Let's see. Nearby surface, pulling the trigger again and again to no avail. His multi-tool is broken. Their weapon systems look functional, but the end result is nothing more than a hollow and empty click. All right, so he, need to, he needs ammunition. Let's do that. I hand him ammunition. The fire returns to their eyes, and they bow deeply, barking that they offer me a gift in exchange. All right. Oh, I got a, a mining beam. A C-class mining beam. I don't need that. So we could sell that off if we wanted to. And then just in here. Also, I also found pyrite in one of these uh, terminals. So I was able to get all of my upgrades all good to go. Like, I literally, look at this. Look at this, I have all my upgrades right there. I almost said literally again. Let me recharge that. So I have my toxic protection and my toxic improvement unit. 
Same thing for here. So this just increases your resistance. And you really want to get these because it says 21% toxic resistance. That'll add 21% to your resistance. So if your filter lasts for, I don't know, 100 seconds. If it lasts for 100 seconds, which is a little over a minute and a half, and you have this on there, it'll add 21% to it. So 21 more seconds to it. So instead of 100, it'll last 120, which is two minutes. So yes, you definitely want to get that. It'll make everything last a lot longer. You want those things. Oh, wait. wait. Did I scan for a... Uh, did I scan for one? Oh, I did. Okay, it's over there. Nine hours. I wanted to make sure I scanned for my... Uh, my What's it called? My awesome drop pod. The final drop pod that we need. I still... It is taken... I would definitely take out... I want to go out and look at my save data for you guys. It has taken me like seven or eight hours of doing this. Now, I'm not going, you know, full on doing this every single time. I would have to stop. I would have to collect money or resources because I had to make my uh, antimatter housing and I had to make my carbon nanotube. So I had to keep collecting oxygen, uh, ferrite dust, and carbon uh, constantly. I had to keep doing that over and over. And because my inventory and my, uh, my, my ship is very small, <laughs> you can't really do strafing runs. Like, usually what you would try to do, if you have a lot of room in your inventory, is you would just pause for a second and just shoot down at the ground. Because it would give you a ton. Like, look at that. Boom. But because my inventory is so limited on my spaceship, I'm not getting anything except for ferrite dust. So, I mean, you definitely have to move some stuff out of there. But yeah, that's literally... Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why do I keep saying that? All right. That is what I've been doing. So let's get in here. This is the last one we need. Yes. That one, that one, and that one. And Iron Man challenge is now complete. All of the inventory slots have been unlocked. So I have the ball. Yeah, I've been going, giving my, uh, my extras down here. So I'm trying to start lining them up where I need to line them up. You know, you know, ferrite dust all the way down. Pure ferrite, magnetized ferrite. You know, silicate powder over there. Sodium, sodium nitrate. So I'm trying to put them in order. You know, oxygen goes below my condensed carbon. Cobalt, ionized cobalt. You know, all that kind of stuff. Salvage data goes down here, actually. Right there. You know, all my metals go down here. So your emerald and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm trying to set up... You know, I have my ammonia, phosphorus, dioxide, uranium. I need pyrite to do that. But yeah, Iron Man challenge is now complete. Let's save. Oh, yes, you guys. And I got my awesome multi-tool again. Look at this multi-tool. It's an A-class. I finally fixed and repaired everything on it. I started putting upgrades in here. I don't have any S-class upgrades for my scanner. When we get to another system, I'll be able to do that. But for now, I have A-class. Same thing for my uh, bolt caster upgrade and my... I did find one. This one came out of a, a damaged machinery. That came out of the damaged machinery. I wish that my uh, my space station had one of these upgrades, but no, they don't. So I had to wait for that. So we'll do that. Get in here. We're, we're, we're making sure to save a ton. Now let me show you how long it took me. Go to mode select. Yes, five seconds to go. And officially it took me... 10 hours and 42 minutes. Now, keep in mind, it took me about three hours before I found a ship. So, technically, the first three hours was me running around looking for a ship to just get off the planet. Then the next seven and a half hours was me trying to max out my inventory. Holy cow, you guys. That is insane. So, hopefully, you guys like the video, and I'll see you guys next time.